Hi, I'm Aaron Stein with SkiAddiction.com. In this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on the basics of jumping. Before going to an actual jump, stand in your ski boots and just jump straight up and down. What you want to do is feel your shins against the front of your boots and pop upwards off your toes. Be sure not to jump off your heels. This will lead to backseat landings. After you've done that a few times, click into your skis and try the same thing with your skis on. The added weight may feel like it holds you down at first, but after a few times, you should get used to it. Next up, find yourself a nice little jump, something that you are comfortable with. Something with little to no gap to the landing would be perfect. Speed check the jump first. This means to ski up to it and stop on the takeoff. Make sure there is no one behind you when you do this. A speed check is great for giving an idea of the general amount of speed you will need to hit the jump. Don't feel embarrassed to do this. Even the pros in X Games and Detour do this every morning. When you have found the right speed, go for it. Make sure to extend off the lip of the jump and keep your hands in front. Keeping your hands in front is crucial on all forward landing tricks. If you land a little bit in the back seat, it will help you pull yourself up without falling backwards. If you land with your hands at your sides or behind you, they may actually pull you down. Get comfortable with this jump. Try popping a little less or a little more. Work on your timing. Ideally, you want to become fully extended right at the end of the jump. This will give you the most amplitude. Once you find yourself comfortable with that little jump, step it up to a bigger one, something with a little bit of distance between the takeoff and landing. Repeat the same speed check process as before, and look at others hitting the jump to get an idea of the speed that you will need. It's important to have enough speed to clear the jump, especially when hitting bigger features. The bigger the jump, the more crucial it is to stay forward and have an aggressive stance on the takeoff. Make sure to keep those hands in front. When you are used to hitting that jump, try playing around with your straight air, add a grab, or try a carved takeoff. These are tons of fun, look really cool, and make you a better skier. When you try the carved approach, make sure to take a little more speed. Keep repeating those steps and keep pushing yourself to move to bigger jumps. These same techniques are used in all tricks. If you're doing a 360, a cork 7, or a double cork 12, a good takeoff is absolutely crucial. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about this tutorial or your riding, contact me at Aaron at SkiAddiction.com.